edge and here it, it does look a little bit wide so I'm going to press A to deselect and then I'm going to grab these points and just move it in slightly press A to deselect again press B I'm going to grab this group and just push it in okay so you can see it is starting to uh, behave the way so now I need some definition here so I can make this a little bit rounder so I'm going to press Control R and I just middle mouse click okay and then I can just push this out a bit okay so now you can you notice this area is a little bit boxy so I'm going to press A to deselect everything first hold down the Control lasso select this group and I'm going to apply the uh, maybe I do not want to select this bottom three vertices I'm going to apply the smooth okay not set smooth but smooth so watch this when I press W the special key say smooth it starts to become rounder notice initially it was flat just control Z to, so it was flat originally so when I press a smooth it will and you can keep on applying several smooths and uh, they will I mean the software will actually smooth it nicely for you so the reason why I'm not want to touch the bottom is I want this uh, ball here to remain flat. So while it is still selected, I can gently just push it out slightly. So maybe perhaps this one I want to hold it in. Okay, so essentially you have the base shape of your shoe. Okay, I'm going to do some uh, shifting of the vertices here I'm gonna, for the top view. So essentially you have the uh, basic shape of the shoe already so you can just spend time tweaking and pushing the vertices until essentially you get your the shape you want right so you gotta spend some time and, and remember your mirror is still applied so uh, the shoe is symmetrical so if you are building a uh, left or right shoe you have to make sure that um, it, it follows the shape of the feet okay maybe I'll show you that in a little bit later so right now I just want to just widen this area so it looks like you can actually fit a, sh a leg inside so why is this potentially good for well you can use this to design your uh, your shoes okay so shoe designers we have a okay, I'm gonna add another edge loop because I can I don't really like this curvature here so by adding two edge loops close to another I can just get rid of that uh, rounded look so this will give you an idea uh, the usefulness of Blender. You can use it to model almost anything. Uh, you can use it as a design tool to prototype uh, some of the ideas that's floating in your head. Okay, so now um, okay, we'll tweak the rest later. We'll just concentrate on the edge here. Okay, right now it looks paper thin, so I'm going to just give it some a pseudo uh, edge, a pseudo thickness or fake thickness. So I'm going to press Alt, right mouse click. Okay, right now it's selecting the edge that runs across here. This is not want. I'm gonna switch over to edge mode. Okay, I'm gonna hold down the Alt key, right mouse click the edge here, and it will select the whole edge that runs across the opening. And I'm just gonna press E to extrude. And I'm gonna use right mouse click so it snaps back to the original place. And I'm gonna use the shrink flatten command or the scale by normal. The command is Alt S, and you just move your mouse up and down just one tiny bit first and while the edge is still selected you can press E again to extrude and then right mouse click so it snaps back uh, while you're in transform uh, 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 this uh, manipulator just click and then just drag it down slightly not too much just a little bit so from far you notice that this shoe has a edge okay let's say you're happy with this shoe alright uh, you want to finalize the mirror so let's bring up the buttons panel so what I did was control up arrow so it uh, gets out of the uh, full screen so if you go under the modifier uh, area here press home so you can see um, I can apply the mirror now so once I've done that you notice that now this is a single object you have both sides that you can actually select and manipulate so if you want to make this a what I call that uh, uh, sh a right shoe, right? So you have to gently uh, grab uh, one of the edges here and then just pull it out. So let's say I want to make this a left shoe. I'm going to switch over to uh, vertex mode. I'm going to turn on this proportional edit. Turn it on, 
you know, select one of the vertices here, press G to move, and as I roll my mouse, I can control how much influence I can. Okay, I'm not getting this to behave properly, but uh, I can just move this out slightly, just a little bit. And maybe this one, I just want to push it in slightly. So I created a, a left shoe. So, well, this is not, I mean, this doesn't look really good. But if you spend time to actually tweak it, you will actually get the shoe you want. Or if you do, if you do not want to use the proportional editing, can we go back to edit mode and turn off this professional uh, proportional editing okay, let me just make this a little bit bigger so you can see you can still I mean the the amount of vertices is still quite manageable it's not not a lot you can still go in and uh, man, uh, manually tweak the vertices for example I can just uh, border select these uh, vertices and then just uh, grab it and just push it in Okay, same for these. Just push it in slightly. I can go to the front view. I'm gonna use my rotate and then yes, use it to tweak your shoe until you get the, the shape you want. Okay, make use of the other tools here like the uh, occlude background geometry. Because right now you can see the geometry other points behind the mesh. If you turn that on. Uh, it might be easier to manage. Okay, so for this one, right mouse press A to deselect first. Okay, because occlude background geometry is on, I can't select this. I'm gonna turn it back on temporarily, and I'm just gonna push this back in. Okay, so basically this is how you do it, and uh, I'm just gonna add a little bit of color to this. So basically, you just go to the links and materials under the buttons panel in the object, sorry, editing, editing button. Uh, I'm just going to click on new material and I click on this color swatch here and then just give it a color. And basically, that's it. I mean, you can still spend a few more minutes to, to edit until you get the, the shoe you like. Uh, but essentially, that is how you model a high heel shoe. Yeah, I hope you find this uh, modeling tutorial useful and uh, perhaps you will apply some of the techniques that I've shown shown you in your uh, Blender mod modeling. So, happy, happy blending guys!